<laughs> yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and hope you like my little intro. Fellas, the snapshot is here. It is, where snapshot is? Oh, I'm in F1. 14W04A, which is brand new, just came out. And there's a lot of cool things in here. Like real quick, you can put, you can put buttons on the ceiling. Uh, there you go. <laughs> really cool stuff. Uh, but the one that I am most excited about, I talked about in my latest Minecraft episode was this. Comparators, let's go out here, shall we? Comparators now work with items and depending on the rotation of the item in the frame will vary the signal length. So let's check this out. Let's grab that, take it out. So when there's nothing in there, the signal is zero. You put it in, this is the default position when you first put something in, and that is a signal of one, right? And for every dinner bones made it to where it has eight separate places that you can uh, that you can rotate, and you can see back there for every one, it'll go, so like that is seven, and then that is eight, that's the maximum amount. So the, there's a ton of cool stuff you can do with this. But the one that I wanted to do was this nifty little combination lock. And it's it works just like a real combination lock, right? You got the little dial that you spin and all that stuff. And I have been working on this for a long, long time. And I am so proud of myself, I have to pat myself on the back. Look at how small this is. This is a combination lock. Uh, now this one handles three digits because that's typically what the uh, traditional combo locks uh, do, but you, it's pretty much uh, infinitely expandable. Infinitely. You can have a bajillion numbers. <laughs> no, um, but let me show you how to build it. Okay, so let's get started. Very first thing you want to do is identify where you want to put your little combo lock, uh, and then put the uh, put the button. So this is kind of like the inner button, because uh, otherwise, every time you move this little thing, it's an active signal, and that's not what we want. We want to be able to select the number that we're going for, uh, and then hit the button to hit enter. And the way we do that is super simple. Um, so there's the comparator. You can see already we got a little s signal going on. Uh, we're just going to take a torch and a bit of dust. See how that turned off? That's because uh, even regardless of what number we have, the max number here is 8, and that's not going to be as much as what is coming off of that torch. So this will be on until we turn this button. See how that works? It'll turn the signal off. And, uh, and then we'll be good to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run a little bit of a line out here, right? And put a couple blocks like this. Now the cool thing about comparators is that they can, um, like they're sort of like repeaters in the way that they can repeat a signal, uh, but they don't renew the, uh, the strength of the signal as it goes through. And so with a configuration like this, like let's say we've got it set to one, right? The signal that's gonna come out here is gonna be consistent uh, regardless of how long we do this little chain. So the signal coming out of this will be the exact same, it'll be one. So it works out fantastic. So you can see, look, right? Now, so that is, pretty much it for the line. And then from here, we're gonna build uh, what I like to call this, these are like the tumblers of the uh, uh, of the combo lock. We're just gonna put a repeater right here. So this repeater is getting the signal through. So, you know, we've got it set to one. It says, okay, this sounds good. Uh, we're gonna put another comparator right there. Did I say repeater as a comparator? This is gonna be in subs uh, sub subtraction mode. Subtraction mode. And we're gonna put a furnace here, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a certain amount of items that will equal to whatever number we want. So, and the way it is, 
These are a little different than you might have normally seen. Uh, if you want the number to be one, you leave it empty. If you want it for, for the number two, you put one item. For the number three, you put 14. Number four, you put 28. Number five, you put 42. Number six, you put 55 items. For number seven, you put one stack up here and five down there. And for number eight, you put one stack up here and 19 down there. Okay. So for instance, we'll make this guy, we'll just say, let's give ourselves, we'll put 14 in there. So that equals three, right? Uh, and then on this guy, we're going to put a little so-and-so, put a little bit of magic. Hey, give me that back. And build up like that. Put some dust over here. Redstone repeater right there. And two pieces of dust and one torch right there. So what this is doing is right now this signal or this input could be anything. It could be anything between one and uh, one and eight, right? And so what this is doing is this going to say, all right, if it is, I'm looking for three. If a three comes in, that'll be just enough to give it one signal, right? One signal strength worth. If it does, it will turn this off, which will then depower this this line right here and then it will turn that torch on. If it's more than three, it'll power this dust plus this dust. So even though this will turn off, this, sig uh, this repeater will carry the signal, power this block right here, and keep this guy turned off. And that's how that works. And this is one number. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat it two and three times. So I'm gonna do that really quick, and I will be right back. Okay, that was easy. So as you can see, I'm just going to mouse up right there or fly over so you guys can see what it looks like. And so that's three, three of them right there. And I've got, like I said, this one's got uh, 14 items. So that's number three. This one, I put the full stack in 19. So that is an eight. And for this guy right here, I put 42 items. So that's five. Uh, now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the the actual combo lock part of this. It's sequential and it will reset whenever you put in or if you put in the wrong number. So very cool how it works. Uh, we're just going to put in a line right along like this. Do, 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 do. Yep, I think that will do it. And then we're going to put a line of redstone dust down here. Now you notice these get connected like that. We don't want that, so we're just going to put a block right on each one. Huh. And then, well, I'll do that a little bit later. And then we're going to build the three little tumbler systems. So right here, we're just going to build a guy and put in a sticky piston facing down like a debt. Then we're going to grab a repeater, put it on three like that. And for this one, only on the very first one, we're going to put a repeater uh, with no tick. And then we're going to put one redstone dust. And the reason for that is once any of these get powered, uh, specifically this one, because this is the first number in the combination, this light will light up. Uh, and it will light this redstone, go through, and when this piston goes down, uh, we want a source of power. So that's saying, yep, this is the first one, this is correct. So that source of power goes down, and that is how that one works. Uh, and then right next to it, we're gonna put a, uh, a torch. We're gonna put a repeater, just normal tick is fine. And then we're going to put a, another repeater. See how it turned into that? That means it's a locking repeater. And we're going to put it on full whack. And then a line of dust right there. So that is essentially how the tumbler works. And I'll show you. So that one was five. If I come over here, let's say it's set at just that. If I hit it, does not go. That's at one, one, 
two, three, four, five. And down it goes. And you'll notice it had just enough time to power it uh, and lock it before this thing went off. So it's all good. I'm gonna do two more of these and I will be right back. Okay, that was not hard at all. So you'll notice we have the exact same setup on each one. Again, it is coming off of that redstone torch. We've just got a repeater going into a block, sticky fit. St sticky piston, sticky piston facing down. And then we have a redstone torch down here. This is the reset line. Uh, redstone torch down there with a repeater going into a repeater to lock it. And these locking repeaters are on full delay. And this will be our output. So let me show you, let's do a little demonstration. Uh, I forget already, I think that's five, eight, and one, two, three. Okay, so let's give it a shot really quick. So that's five. First one goes down and you can see it is powered, right? So the next one will go straight eight. Uh, we hit it. And you notice, so now the power is carried over, but this one has been cleared. So it's just that one signal. It's all we need to worry about. And then, what did I say? Well, it was three, right? So there's one, two, three. Hit it. And now that light goes on, or that line goes on, you can stick it to a light, you can stick it to a door, you can stick it to a TNT, whatever you wanna do. Now, there is one last part of this. Uh, now, of course, you notice if we hit this again, it didn't hit the right thing, and so it all gets reset. But what happens if you put a, well, this was like a five, eight, three, what happens if you put a seven or a six or a two or something? Well, that's where you put in the reset line. And it just comes in like this, it comes right off of these guys. And you go, boom, 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 boom. And you just put some redstone. And this will actually trigger every time uh, every time you do any number, which is fine because these things will be pushed down if it's the right number, everything's cool. Um, but if you do something that is not the correct combination, then that will guarantee that this will get reset. Now, another little added thing, if you wanted to, let me find a button, you have a button around here. In the event that you, know, you go through a door and you wanna hit uh, a reset, to close the door behind you. It's not a problem at all. All you gotta do is anywhere along that line, you see how those all instantly get cleared out. And that's how you would erase the, uh, the combo. Keep in mind that this is, in, it, in itself, a very, very compact uh, combination lock. I don't think I've seen one quite as compact as this. I'm very proud of it. Um, you don't necessarily need to use a, uh, an item frame and this, you could essentially uh, take a, a bunch of uh, a line and just have a bunch of buttons here. And, you know, depending on signal strength, you know, you could have redstone behind it and it would just judge the signal strength, how far it is from this comparator. And you could do it that way. But this, I've been waiting for this for a long, long, long time. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It took me literally hours all day to get that working, but I am so happy that I did. Until next time, take care, brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Perch.